Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Common Rider Gotchard. You guys, last week was absolute fire in so many ways. <laughs> we got a gorgeous new form. We got some great stuff going on for Spanner. It was actually a very beautiful, sad, dramatic episode. Um, so yeah, we had a ton going on. I will briefly get into last week's episode before we move on today. But before I do all that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, Day. You know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I am glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. That does help me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, yeah, guys, last time was so good. We had Spanner's new brand spanking new rider form. Um, it was gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the look. Um, there's so many different things it reminds me of. Like, I feel like there's some homages in it, but at the end of the day, it's like its own thing. And it just looks really, really beautiful. And it's nice to see him finally get his own. Um, he was the last to get one. But at least now we know why his power was like kind of stunted and everything. You know what I mean? Like that kind of makes sense with his backstory now, you know? Um, so yeah, so we had this great story where like his parents show up and he gets to say goodbye to his parents. The whole thing was too sad for me, you guys. And I love that uh, we made up with our mentor and everything. We're still kind of frosty with the team, which, you know, he wouldn't be the lone wolf guy if he just all of a sudden was like, yay, team, you know, like we're still only, you know, I not even like halfway through the series. So I get it. It's just his way. Um... But yeah, it was a really well done arc. There's definitely stuff brewing with the sisters and with uh, Minato. Uh, we saw that. We saw that they were kind of having some of their schemes, or at least him and the one sister and everything. And um, there's definitely, it feels like there's some <sighs> problems here, like going on in, in the ranks. You know what I mean? There's some like upset. So I feel like they're doing a good job of like building that like, oh, eventually like we're going to be split off into separate villain teams or maybe like an enemy of my enemy situation. I'm still not positive what's going on with Minato, but I think it's pretty clear that he does have his own agenda, yet he is for whatever reason, whether it's intentional or unintentional, he is playing into their hand right now. So we'll find out the details later, I'm sure. But um, yeah, guys, we're we're heating up now. And I gotta say, um, I loved it when it was lighthearted. I love what they're doing now. I'm just having a really good time with it. And um, now we have all of our, we have all, we, we yeah, I mean, well, no, because they might make our other friends riders too at some point. I don't know. I don't know. Are we just going to have like the three main riders? Or are we going to make all our friends group riders? I guess we'll see. I can totally see them doing that. But for now, we at least have like a main group, I would say. Like we have our core. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm excited to see where it's going. Without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of Common Rider Gotchard. Let's do this. Oh, hoppa, hoppa. oh my lord, what are we doing now? Why are we dressed up as cowboys? What are we doing? Hi, Trey Carol. You're so cute. Oh. Oh, aren't we happy? She looks like she's in love. Yeah. Does that fit any of our... Oh, no. I was just going to say, it sounds like Spanner. Is she in love with Spanner? And they're all... <laughs> oh, great disguises, you guys. Very good. She'll never know. Hop, Hopper, honey. Hopper. Shh. Shh. Do we have sunglasses for Hopper? Do we have baby sunglasses for Hopper? Oh... Oh my god, is it? 
Oh my. Oh my god, he has flowers for her too. Oh my god, he has flowers for her too. It's Ash. What is happening? What is going on right now? Is this. <laughs> what is going on? Who are the flowers for then? Who are his flowers for? There we go. It's a. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh, it's. Uh, well. Gotta say, guys. You kind of can't blame her. Oh my god! I assumed he was like some kind of idol or something. Oh! Oh, this is so... Is this... Oh, there's a, there's a whole group. There's a whole group. Oh, we're still playing the f the f the fangirls, the crowd of fangirls. You know what? This just an attractive guy. You can't blame anyone for for just <laughs> what a chat. <laughs> He, oh, I was going to say, I wonder if he's bringing flowers for Spanish grave. Yeah. It's, that's what it is. It's not that simple. Oh, you knew him pretty well, didn't you? That's the impression I was getting is that they knew each other pretty well. I think he's. I think he's just trying to make sure they're good. That kind of doll, like a fighting doll. Oh, and then we're going to become, oh my goodness. Can we do anything about it once this? Whoa, okay. So we didn't fully go full amalgam. Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna protect her. Look at his henshin sequence, you guys! It's really something. Are we gonna do that every time? Uh, yeah, see, the thing is, once it's been infiltrated, I don't think we can really, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Look at the outfit, though, you guys. I mean, who is doing the outfits, the costumes for these shows and everything? They, they need a raise. He sent back up? How, how is, uh, what's your name going to feel about that? Despite her, I feel like she's not going to like that they sent someone. Yeah. Uh-oh. So he either has something to do with something or they're going to bring him into something. He's got like the um, avatars. <laughs> I love the Kajikis right there. This is starting to feel a little, like, cult-ish. It's the can. Indeed. That's why Hopper was freaking out. Hopper's like, something's going on! Was it to go and see Prince Sakun? Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Is he like zapping la life force? That means that means our friends are gonna be getting their life force sapped up as well. Ah, oh, 
yeah, we love, love. Uh, does he know he's doing this? He must know, right? Yeah, he knows he's doing it. Gotcha. Oh, and why do you have to be bad? You are so hot. <laughs> why does he have to be bad? It's a cumpire. He's so, oh, he's because he's a vampire. Gotcha. Um, he's got, it looks kind of Kiva ish, doesn't it? Wasn't Kiva about vampire? I've never seen Kiva, but I know it's about vampires, isn't it? And we got a Kemi. He's Kemi. This is the first time we've seen it. Humanoid Kemi. Oh, call Kemi. He's a Kumpai. Oh, he's so, oh my guy, so hot though. <laughs> he's so hot. <laughs> oh, it might be. Ah. Third first love. Who are the. F Ruin. Tragedy. I don't not want to get hit with this again. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys. He's pretty, he's, he's pretty yummy looking. Oh, uh oh, this isn't good. He possessed, oh, this is going to be weird. This is going to be weird now. Oh, so was he possessing that person? No, I think that was actually him. Oh, he is doing a really good impression of <laughs> Dental right now and being cool, isn't he? So he can possess people. Oh, we could even be a princess. And then they're all gonna get zakuned. Bounty Bunny and Pa. Have we? Oh, Bounty Bunny in the parka. Fight it. Fight it, honey. Fight it. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. It's probably for the best. For what? We're going to zacune the world. We're going to zacune the world. That's not good. Don't be, don't be charming. Don't be charming. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, she got powered up. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, don't, we just straight up just nabbed one of the camis. That's not cool. Oh, he's mad now. He's mad. Oh, Angeline. This should be interesting. Ooh, angel copter. Heck yeah. Wow. See, I feel like now that we're all powered up, though, it's still, even if they get a power up, we're still, like, at this level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Heck yes. Oh! And now we're grabbing those from you. Commences. No. No. Our friends. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that shouldn't be possible, right? I mean, the thing is, like, Sakumpire actually thinks that they're doing something really good. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I, <laughs> I'm starting to get geek.
Geats vibes now, like we're remaking the world. The, the wings, the wings. I know that's kind of the point, but also does anyone have the song that was playing as he was making his entrance? Because that was very catchy and I would love to hear it. Um, all right, guys, we've got another like possession chemi thing going on this time. We have a chemi that's actually taking like a humanoid form. Um, so yeah, so I don't, I can't tell. I don't think that's someone he's possessing, though. I think that's just, like, the regular form, and he can also possess people. Um, it's so nice to have all three of our friends in action now. It's really, really sweet, but they're doing a good job of, like, just as everyone on our side is getting upgrades, they're getting upgrades on the other side as well. Now we have, like, a multiple transmutation thing. I can't remember if they've ever done that before, um, but I feel like they've established, like, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, so it's just annoying how we like keep on coming back with the, with power ups, you know, but I guess what else would you expect when you've got somebody who's scheming nonstop to take down all of these riders? Um, so Cumpire is really something you guys, um, gotta say terrible shame that we've got a villain situation here because I'm digging it. I'm digging it big time. I'm not saying I want to get secuned. I'm saying I don't not want to get secuned. We all got to go sometime, you guys. You could go getting secuned. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll simmer down. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, um, I definitely, there's gotta be like some Kiva up in there. Cause I don't know much about Kiva, but just from what I've seen of like photos and stills and figures and everything of Kiva, I feel like that had major Kiva, Kiva vibes, like in aesthetic and also in that it's a vampire. Um, you guys can fill me in cause I have not actually seen it. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not loving that we're going around, Gleon's going around giving people like part of his power and everything because that's going to make real trouble for us. And I, I feel like we're, we just got upgrades. So I don't think we're going to get like new, really big upgrades anytime soon. But the way that we're going, I think maybe like, I could see it in the not too distant future. I could see it in the not too distant future. Something's definitely going on with Minato. Um, yeah, guys, uh, if we are able to get the Cumpire on our side, are we just going to randomly see him pop out from time to time? Like is, or is he just going to be a card? He's probably just going to be a card. Uh, cause I, that would be really, really funny. At first I thought, I'm like, wait, this doesn't have anything to do with the gorgeous guy, does it? But I don't think it does. Um, he just has like the same kind of vibe <laughs> he has the same vibe he's he's got a very he's got a lot of charm he's got a ton of charm um all right you guys they could give now they're doing a lot of spinoffs they're doing a lot of specials get i would watch that special i really would give him a special i'm just saying if you're gonna go giving everyone a special i would watch that um, yeah, guys, that was really, really good. That was, uh, I like how we're still keeping it, even though we've seen a lot of chemis now, we're still kind of keeping it somewhat fresh with chemis as well. Uh, kind of keeps it interesting and, and helps not to get too monotonous and everything. Uh, so yeah, so I, it was very, very fun to me when we thought that our friend was in love with Spanner. And for a second, I was like, oh my God, are we really doing this? Cause like, I don't see this at all. I don't see them as being compatible. I don't know if his interest in Rene was, totally sincere but I could see that before I could see <laughs> him and <laughs> yeah so um all right guys where are we gonna land on this I guess we'll find out next time but yeah good Valentine's Day episode you guys very very loving very full of love and and crush and this uh hearts a flutter um, until we're just kind of sucking the life energy out of everybody. That's not as romantic. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, all right, guys. Great episode. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, as we continue slash probably finalize the story, very curious to see where it's going. Don't leave me. 
please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.